this is Linda's Crafty Life. Today I'm doing an unboxing. This is a little bit late, but it is for me to chart, start the new Chuck Along that just started on September 1st. The Chuck Pinson that I'm going to do is Autumn's Bridge. Let's see if you can see that. It's a covered bridge. There you go. All right, and it's a <clears throat> round shape for all you round lovers. It's 27 by 20. And whenever you see this pink stripe or this circle here, that indicates with Diamond Art Club that it's a round drill painting. They have square and they have round. The, uh, the square would be blue with a blue square instead of a circle and it would have that blue stripe right here. Alright. Again, this is a Chuck Pinson from Diamond Art Club. I'm going to unbox this and I'll um, hold it up for you guys because it's pretty big and I don't have a really big table. I have a type of uh, table where I just have to roll as I go to make sure I have enough adequate space here. You got to work with what you got, right? I'm doing this and I'm also doing drills and chills. I'm probably going to go crazy with two different paintings going at the same time, but sometimes that's nice because you don't get bored. Alright, I'll be right back. I'm going to show you this beautiful painting. Okay, well I'm going to open the bag. They call them unbaggings now, but it comes in a box and it comes inside a bag, inside a box. I'm still going to say unbox. <laughs> All right, when you unroll this, you see your beautiful stack of drills. Look at all those beautiful colors. I'm going to unroll this. Sorry about the bump. <clears throat> this is the sticker sheet that comes with almost all of their paintings. It has all the symbols here that you'll use in the painting. So I'll put them up a little closer. Lots of greens you can see here. Um, the symbols don't look too bad. They don't usually have a problem with Diamond Art Club having like foggy looking drills. And then here's the image. And the newer kits, they have a start and end date on the sticker. There's a sticker and these are perforated for the uh, newer kits so you can just peel these right off and stick them on your containers as you're kitting up. And remember with Diamond Art Club anything under the number 150 is considered an AB Diamond. AB stands for Aurora Borealis. Uh, they have an extra shimmer and shine. They have a coating on them that helps them shine and the diamonds around them. And uh, there, I'll show you the difference when we get through the diamonds. And so according to the sticker sheet, we have three ABs in this kit. If you love landscapes, Diamond Art Club has a lot of beautiful paintings by other artists as well as Chuck Pinson. You could check them out. Um, they got, like, I think Dave McLean. They have, they have quite a few that do landscapes. They have a, a discount code on this little guide right here. If you've never diamond painted before and this is your first Diamond Art Club kit, they show you the tips and the tricks and they have a thank you code. So if you've never diamond painted and this is your first experience, it's a nice little guide to help you get started. I'm going to open the painting up so you can see a better image of it. I'll be right back. Okay, let's go over the anatomy of a Diamond Art Club kit. Up at the very top, you see do what makes you sparkle. That's their slogan, Diamond Art Club. And at the top, on your left, you have a symbol sheet. So as you're diamond painting, you can look right over and see the legend right there. And then, you also, with Diamond Art Club, get a second legend on the bottom on your right. So they have another copy on the side. So whichever side you're working on, you can see the symbols as you go. And then, at the bottom, 
of the Diamond Art Club kits. You got the picture, and it shows you if it was a partial, it would just show you the partial that you would paint. But it is a full drill, so it's corner to corner. Everything has drills on it. So that's why you see the whole image in the corner. And then you have the, the actual number of their painting, the name, 27 by 20, 69 centimeters by 51 centimeters. And the artist, again, is Chuck Pinson, Diamond Art Club. And then here you have their, their social media. So it's a, it's a beautiful kit. They use what you call tarpaulin. And tarpaulin is like a velvety backing to it. The only drawback to this, sometimes you get fuzzes and stuff stick to it, but it is a very good quality kit. You don't have to worry about the fading. If you look at the drill field, you don't see blurry symbols. See, look at it focus right there. Don't let this fool you when you look at the picture. Without the drills on it, it doesn't do this painting justice. Once you finish it, all the colors are going to come to life. And it's something you can really just frame and hang on your living room wall. It's not cartoony. It's just real life landscape gorgeousness. Chuck Pinson, he is a great artist. He has a real knack for doing these paintings that look like places you want to go on vacation. And, and he always has. And all of his artwork is just beautiful. So you look at all that. And then on the, on the sides, they scallop the edges. This helps prevent it from fraying. As some of the cheaper companies you might buy, they don't do that. And you have the stuff just shedding right off on the side. You don't have that problem with Diamond Art Club. Diamond Art Club has all licensed artwork, which is great because you have a peace of mind knowing when you buy their work that the artist is being represented and paid. And anybody who does any type of artwork can appreciate that. Hear any noise? I have dogs. They're goofus, goof sometimes. All right. They come with usually the newer kits all have these little stickers too. These are great if you want to put them in your log book, or you know if you maybe some people just peel them off and stick them on their boxes. So when you store them in your closet or your shelf, at a glance you can see what the images are for the paintings without taking them all down off the shelf. So. Whichever you like. I keep them. I just put them in like a little book. But I don't have a log book. I just like seeing all the images I completed. Well, that's nice that they give you a second sticker. Alright. If you have a square drill, the only difference is they give you tweezers. But you don't get the tweezers with the round kit. Alright. With Diamond Art Club... You get two pieces of heart-shaped wax. You have your boat with the funnel on it. They give you a nice handful of baggies. If you kit up and you use containers, that's fine. But at least when I kit down and I put the leftover drills away, these do come in handy. Then they give you a multi-placer. This right here is a four-placer. For those of you who like using multi-placers, some people don't. But I like using both. They give you a blue squishy. And then here's their pen. And again, if you have this multi-placer, you just pop it on the other end. And there you go. Uh, multi-placers go anywhere between, I believe, 2 all the way to like 15 maybe. I don't go that high. I'm usually on a 3 or a 4 placer. I just haven't mastered the bigger ones, and I'm okay with that. Um, I don't want to get two on a hand and have them all looking crooked, but... Don't worry, as you go, if they look a little crooked, they start to even out. Because the other drills push them in the, the right place. Now, I'm going to go over the colors. This one has 54 colors. I'm going to draw you a little closer down so you can see them. started on this and look at all the gorgeousness. I know not everyone likes to see the drills. I love seeing the drills. I like seeing the colors, the numbers, everything. 
I love to see what the painting's made of so I can make a good decision on whether I want to buy it or not. Alright, we got 832. We got 779. We got this dark, dark brown. It's very common in landscapes. 3371. It's like a really dark mocha brown. There's your 938. You got two bags of 938. 934. 738. This like a little beige color right here. 732. You got two bags of 732. Here's 937 right here. Look at the quality. I mean, any company you work with, you're still going to get some trash. But that's common. I mean, uh, especially for like the black drills, because they're so mass produced. There's never going to be a kit where you don't have any trash at all. But as long as they give you enough to finish your kit. Here's two 935s. Here's 841. 783, 3864, 3860, and 898. Okay, that's the first train. Oops, sorry about that. I have a very small workspace. I own my, my table, so... Real estate's uh, hard to come by on my table. <laughs> All right. There we go. Can you see me? There's 3787, 728, 739, there's 644, 976, 833, 844, it's like a greenish brown, 3772, 436 you got 647 135 here's your first AB I'm going to turn it around maybe you could see it okay compared to this one right here right you got sparkle to it it has a nice facet it looks nice but then you look at the ABs look at the extra sparkle it's sometimes hard to capture on a camera, but it has an extra coating at the top that gives it an extra sparkle. Again, this is modeled after the Aurora Borealis, the Northern Lights, so you get an extra little shimmer. Alright, and then we're going to go back to the rest of them. We got 30, 33. 645, 646, 977, it's a nice orange color. Alright, here's another AB, the 141, it's a white AB. See that beautiful coating on there? I know whatever you see on the camera just doesn't do it justice. When you do paintings and you try to put them up online, they never look the same like they do when you're right there in front of them. That's just beautiful the shimmer that you get on these diamond paintings. And then here's the other AB, 129. That's a light yellow. See? Alright. Alright, one more. One more train. These are the little bitty ones. They put them not in uh, DNC color, color code numbers order. They put them in order of like the amount. So the bigger bags will be together with the bigger bags and then the little trains will be the ones just to have a little bit of color in that painting. 
These are the little ones. 3776, 648, 301, 3023, 318, 402, 414, 712, 3799, 415, 3064, 471. Here's 208, this purple right here. There's 310, which is black. Not a lot of 310. I know some people have had paintings that were 310 nightmares. Because, I mean, I don't have a problem with any one color. But black and white are often like what you see in most paintings in the background, on outlines. So when you get a painting that doesn't have any or all or have very little, it's just a nice little break from having all that black. But that's barely any. I know some paintings people have had like 18 bags of one black color. That's it. Like crazy. That's nothing. That's a little a little dab. All right. Thirty-eight sixty-one, thirty-eight fifty-six, thirty-eight fifty-five, four thirteen, four thirty-three, and four thirty-four. All right, that's all the colors on this kit. Whenever you work on landscapes, you have to understand you're not going to get a lot of crazy rainbow colors that are bright and fluorescent in appearance, but. Like, you get a lot of natural colors, browns and blacks and grays and greens and sky tones and stuff like that. But I love them. They're just gorgeous. I love all kinds of images. I like cartoony things. I got a lot of, uh, like, landscapes and whatever catches my eye and I say, wow, I really want to do that. Those are the types of paintings I pick. I don't care if they're square. I don't care if they're round. I don't really have a preference. I like both. I mean, they're both relaxing to me. If you want to do a round and then the next one you do a square so you don't get tired of one shape, that's fine. I know some people won't buy a painting because it's not the shape they want. But you have to just understand that everyone has their own preferences and that's okay. This is uh, a round and a lot of Chuck Pinsons have been square with Diamond Art Club. So it's good to see that they're doing some rounds for him for the people who don't like squares. It's okay, you know. There's reasons why, because Diamond Art Club, they uh, have a person hand charting these paintings. They're comparing it to the actual original painting. And some paintings look better when they're done in round, and some pictures, they look better and sharper when they're in square. So they're going by which one looks the most accurate to the painting. So that's what you got to kind of keep in mind, that nobody wants to buy an image that just doesn't look the, you know, the best quality. And uh, again, another thing I forgot to mention, Diamond Art Club has uh, like an oops insurance. So let's say that you are doing your painting and I've run out of a color on one of my paintings. You can call them or send them an email with a picture saying, hey, I was working on my painting and I'm missing this color. Or I ran out of this color. Or maybe it was an accidental spill, you know. Just let them know what happened. And literally, like within like usually an hour, they already sent you a message saying, okay, it's in the mail already. Like, they already got it with a shipping label ready to go. That is really nice to know that if you run short on something, you have this peace of mind that Diamond Art Club will make it right. Uh, again, this is Linda's Crafty Life. I hope you enjoyed this unboxing of Autumn Bridge by Chuck Pinson and Diamond Art Club. This is going to be my entry for the Chuck Along. Um, if anybody's interested... Uh, you could just, uh, it's Mindy's Diamond Moments and uh, Kiss My Crafts, Maritza. Uh, they're the ones who are running the, the thing. I will post the like, link to their group. Really great. All the YouTubers that we have doing these crafty things. It just makes the, the life and uh, community seem so much smaller that you can reach out and chat with one another. And in a world where sometimes we just really need the connection with one another, that it's nice that we have that, a community. 
All right, you have a wonderful day.